Hi friends, welcome back to 10 Minute Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain a romantic comedy film from 2011 titled, What's Your Number? Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie begins with Ally, waking up next to her boyfriend Rick. She runs quickly to the bathroom to fix her makeup. After Rick wakes up, he comments on how she always looks good in the morning. Afterwards, Ally invites Rick to go to her sister's wedding, Daisy. Nevertheless, he comments that it feels way too serious for them. He then tells her to call him if she ever wants to hook up, and leaves. A while after, Ally shows up at work, where her boss, Roger, informs her that she's going to be laid off. Evidently, she's the only one getting fired. She then takes the subway with a box of her stuff. When she goes through a magazine, she finds that the average number of lovers women have in their lives, is 10.5 men. So, she decides to write down a list of all the men she slept with. The following day, Ally goes to Daisy's rehearsal dinner. When she goes to check up on her, she finds out that her mom's refusing to invite their dad to the wedding. In the end, Ally finds out that she slept with 19 men. Downstairs, Ally makes her speech while she's drunk. Consequently, she insults Daisy's fiancé, Eddie. Since she's drunk, she breaks a champagne bottle while toasting. Afterwards, Ally sits with her friends at a bar, where she plays a game with them to know how many men they slept with. Therefore, she finds out that they have lower numbers than her. When her friends tell her she'll have a lower chance of getting married, Ally decides that the next guy she'll have sex with, will be the one. However, the following day, Ally wakes up in bed next to Roger, who was at the bar as well. Freaking out, Ally dresses up in a hurry to call Daisy. But, Daisy informs her that she spat on her when she tried to leave with her. When Roger wakes up, Ally tries to think of a way to make him leave. Coincidentally, Ally's neighbor, Colin, asks to borrow her phone, since he locked himself out of the apartment. Luckily, he sees her struggling with Roger, so he helps her out by blowing him off. Just as Roger's leaving her apartment, she notices a woman coming out of Colin's apartment. He then confesses that he's hiding from her. After the woman leaves, Colin goes back to his apartment. A few hours later, Ally's testing Daisy's wedding cake, where she notices a guy named Donald. Evidently, she used to date him. When she goes to greet him, she finds out that he lost a lot of weight, and that he's engaged. Embarrassed, she has to lie her way out of the conversation. Ally then realizes that maybe more of her exes, have gotten better with age. At home, Ally begins searching for her exes. However, she blacks out while she's drinking. When she wakes up, she hears Colin fighting with a woman in his apartment. Suddenly, she decides to ask Colin for help, so she can find her hottest ex. However, he refuses to help her, since he doesn't know why she'd break up with 19 men. As Ally's leaving, she decides to run into his apartment, and force him in her apartment. She then makes a deal with him, if he helps her, she'll help him escape his one-night stands. Evidently, Colin agrees. A few hours later, Ally gives Colin a list of her ex's names. Afterwards, she meets with Daisy to pick out the wedding dress, where she receives a text from Colin, telling her he found one of her exes, Dave. So, she meets Colin in a bar where Dave works as a bartender. Since Dave still has the job he had when he met her, she decides to leave. Outside, Colin asks Ally why won't she sleep with him, and he believes it's because she doesn't want to raise her number. However, she tells him that no decent guy will accept her sexual experiences. The following morning, Ally wakes up to find Colin sleeping on her couch. Since he has a girl over, he's hiding in her apartment until she leaves. He then tells her that he found one of her exes, Evan, but it turns out he's married with kids. Throughout the week, Ally and Colin get to work on finding the rest of them. Therefore, she decides to pursue Simon, an ex that's going through a divorce, and selling his house. So, he advises her to go look at the house, while plotting to win him over. However, when she goes there, she finds out she accidentally waltzed in Donald's house. Embarrassed, she tells him she's looking for houses to buy with her fiancé. Therefore, she runs out of the house, with Colin following her from upstairs. Moments later, Ally finds Simon in the house next door. When he sees her, he immediately talks with her. In the end, he invites her out for a drink, which she instantly accepts. However, Colin finds out that she's faking an English accent for him. Evidently, Simon finds out about it, and leaves earlier than expected. Therefore, she goes home to inform Colin of what happened. A few hours later, Colin tells Ally her next target is Jerry, a guy she despises. Although she doesn't want to go out with him, she has no other choice. In the morning, Colin goes with Ally to Jerry's puppet show, and brings his nephew, Justin with him. However, she can't stomach talking to him since he's obsessed with her sister, Daisy. So, she leaves in the middle of the conversation. A few hours later, Daisy meets with Ally to meet with their mom. 
Since she wants to inform her that her dad's coming to the wedding, she can't do it alone. When they tell her, she replies that she won't go if their dad's coming. In the end, Ally tells Daisy that she's flying to Miami to meet with Barrett, one of her exes. A few days later, Ally goes to Barrett's office. Since he's a gynecologist, she's trying to get a pap smear. However, he doesn't recognize who Ally is until he takes a look at her genitals. Fortunately, Colin tells her that he found where Tom is, a senator in DC, so she decides she'll fly out there for him. The following day, Ally walks in her apartment to find Daisy and Colin sitting on a couch together. Although he's hiding from a woman in his apartment, she still hasn't left. So, Ally has to take matters into her own hands by faking that she's Colin's fiance. Afterwards, Ally goes to Washington DC, where she bumps into Donald's again. Suspicious, he's starting to feel as if she's stalking him. A while later, Ally makes it to a public library where she finds Tom sitting there. She then calls Colin to inform him that Tom invited her out to dinner and he sent her a dress for her to wear. Although Colin feels jealous, he doesn't say anything. At night, Ally joins Tom for dinner. Everything goes perfectly, except for the fact that Tom's gay. Therefore, he wants her to be his beard since he wants to run for presidency. Heartbroken, Ally decides to go home, only to find Colin surprising her with food and beer. When Ally realizes that she'll go to Daisy's wedding by herself, Colin offers to go with her, which she accepts. A while later, Colin takes Ally to a basketball court where he used to work at. But Colin decides to play strip basketball. Coincidentally, one of the security guards hears them and goes to check it out. Luckily, Ally and Colin manages to get out before he catches them. At home, Colin remarks at how he's always losing his shirts to women, but Ally tells him that if he had fewer hookups, he'd get to keep his shirts. So, Colin decides to take back his shirt, where they end up making out. However, Ally tells him that she doesn't want to have sex, and he totally understands. The following morning, Ally wakes up before Colin to get ready, but he's already awake. He then tells her that she looks beautiful, which she takes to heart. Although they're about to cook breakfast, she remembers that she has to meet Daisy. So, Ally meets Daisy at the flower shop. However, Daisy and her friends warn her about Colin, since she tells them that she's inviting him to the wedding. In the end, she promises that she won't sleep with him. At night, Ally's working on her sculptures. Since she swapped phones with Colin, she finds out that he has information about Jake, her first ex. Unfortunately, he kept it hidden from her. So, Ally decides to break it off with Colin for lying to her. Afterwards, Ally leaves a voicemail for Jake, asking about him. The following day, Daisy invites Ally again to meet her dad and his girlfriend. Coincidentally, while she's sitting with her family, Jake calls her back. So, she decides to leave early. Afterwards, Ally gets ready to meet with Jake at a hotel. When she finally sees him, she's mesmerized. What she doesn't notice is that her hair extensions are on fire. She then quickly pulls them out before Jake greets her. The dinner goes well, and Ally invites him to her apartment to see her sculptures. In the end, they kiss and hook up all night. The following day, Ally takes Daisy to her mom's house so they can inform her that their dad's girlfriend is coming too. However, their mom's more interested in Ally being with Jake. Throughout the week, Ally and Jake officially start dating. While Colin's still trying to move on from Ally. However, on the day of Daisy's wedding, Ally and Colin bump into each other. Although he tells her he's going to a different wedding, she knows that he's going to Daisy's. At the wedding, Ally's spending time with her family, when Jake excuses her dad to dance with her. Guilty, she decides to tell Jake that he wasn't the first guy she slept with. However, he tells her that it doesn't matter, if he gets to be her last. He then invites her to go with him on a business trip for six months. But, she excuses herself to give Daisy and Eddie her speech. While she does so, she realizes that Jake's not the one she wants to be with. So, she asks Jake to talk after she's done. A while later, she confesses to Jake that their relationship isn't working out, since she's not herself with him. Hurt, Jake leaves. However, Ally musters up the courage to tell her mom the truth. When her mom finds out, she scolds her for letting a man like him go. Fed up, Ally tells her that she's in love with Colin, who appreciates her for who she is. To her surprise, Daisy saves the day by telling her mom that she's pregnant. Seizing the opportunity, Ally escapes the wedding to find out which wedding Colin's at. An hour later, Ally finally makes it to the wedding where Colin's at, only to be stopped by security. She then finds out that Colin's band is hosting the wedding party. Determined, she decides to climb a fence over to the other side. When she shows up on stage next to Colin, she starts telling him she needs to talk to him. Although he doesn't want to, she forces the band to stop playing and steals him away. 
Afterwards, Colin asks Ally what she's doing. She then confesses to him that she was wrong, and that she didn't want her heart broken. Nevertheless, he apologizes to her for hiding Jake's number. Fortunately, they both forgive each other. The following day, Colin and Ally are cuddling in bed, when she receives a voicemail from one of her exes, telling her that they never had sex. Since she blacked out, she just went to sleep that night. Joyful, Ally realizes that Colin's still her number 20. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you did, subscribe if you're new. And at last, I'll say stay well, stay safe, thanks.